The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy claims to have successfully developed a powerful electromagnetic railgun that can launch projectiles at very high speed and precision. As early as 2008, the U.S. Army and Navy had thought of using new technologies to develop new types of artillery. Initially, there were multiple options such as electromagnetic guns, laser cannons, and plasma cannons. Among these new concept artillery, the electromagnetic gun was the most popular. The development prospects and the easiest to realize the new type of artillery. So since 2009, the US Navy has cooperated with base systems to develop and test shipborne electromagnetic guns, and selected railguns with less development difficulty and better technology as electromagnetic guns. R&D Direction This is because the railgun uses electricity to generate a strong electromagnetic field and then converts this electromagnetic field into propelling force, pushing the projectile out of the chamber at a very high speed. In simple terms, it can also be regarded as a special electric motor. Its electromagnetic coil is used as a fixed stator structure, which surrounds the track. The projectile acts as a linearly accelerated rotor, which uses the Lorentz force to move the projectile from it is launched quickly in the linear stator structure. Compared with traditional artillery, the biggest advantage is that the rate of fire can be increased from the current 30 rounds per minute to 120 rounds per minute. And the maximum range can also be increased to more than 200 kilometers, and the faster muzzle velocity not only allows it to be farther. Its range also gives it a greater advantage in kinetic energy, enabling the projectile to achieve a longer range and greater lethality advantage without increasing the internal charge. Recently, the U.S. military officially announced that the highly anticipated electromagnetic railgun project was officially discontinued. Meaning that although the United States was the first country in the world to start the development of electromagnetic railguns, at this stage, the United States announced the official discontinuation of the project, which also means in the technical competition of electromagnetic railguns, the United States has completely lost to China. After all, as early as 2018, China's self-developed electromagnetic railguns had already boarded the Army tank landing ship for ship-on-ship -ship target testing. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy claims to have developed a powerful electromagnetic railgun that can launch projectiles at very high speed and precision. Reported by the South China Morning Post. The country's new Gauss gun can fire a 124kg 273-pound projectile at a speed of 700km 435 miles per hour in less than 0.05 seconds. It is worth noting that the weapon utilizes electromagnetism instead of chemical energy used in conventional firearms to fire at their targets. According to the outlet, the futuristic weapon could revolutionize warfare through faster, more accurate, and more devastating attacks. Electromagnetic gun technology no longer uses gunpowder to shoot cannonballs from the barrel, but uses electromagnetic to drive the projectiles, which will not produce large vibration noise and infrared radiation characteristics, making the electromagnetic gun more concealed in combat and difficult to be spotted by the enemy. It can be said that in terms of the development of the electromagnetic railgun, the United States was the first to develop and launch the launch test. While China officially began to develop the electromagnetic rail when the US electromagnetic railgun had already established the project and was about to start live fire testing. Although the United States, as a pioneer, has deployed electromagnetic railguns earlier, the development process has not been very smooth. The biggest problem earlier was that the track with a large number of electromagnetic coils was easily ablated. Later, there were some problems. The power supply coil was overheated and other problems. So in 2016, after a few years of development, the US Navy suspended the continued development of the project and suspended the continued funding assistance for the project. At the beginning of 2018, netizens discovered that a strange-looking turret structure appeared on a certain type of Navy tank landing ship and from the analysis of the thick barrel. This was the electromagnetic railgun that China was previously developing, which means that the United States is the forerunner stopped the development of the project for technical reasons. But what was unexpected is that China, 
as a latecomer, continued to break through various technical difficulties, directly surpassing the United States and proceeded to the stage of target testing on the ship. Just as the outside world is paying attention to the follow-up news of China's electromagnetic railgun ship test. For some reason, the US Navy restarted the development of the electromagnetic gun at the beginning of 2019, and given the technical reference, it was very surprised. In less than a year, the United States quickly solved the problems of orbital ablation and coil overheating that had plagued the project. Which is equivalent to saying that in 2020 the US Navy has begun a large-scale development of electromagnetic railguns and will start in 2019. The amount of congressional pre-appropriation for this project is also constantly increasing. Now, the US Navy has officially announced the official discontinuation of the electromagnetic railgun project. Which means that the United States has completely lost the new electromagnetic railgun technology to the latecomer China. In fact, looking at the global development of new concept weapons in the past 10 years, we will find that in addition to electromagnetic railguns, there are basically hypersonic missiles that the United States took the lead in developing and testing. But the final result is that the latecomer China is earlier, equipped with this new type of weaponry. The United States unanimously discontinued continuous testing of these new technologies. After all, some technologies are not developed by themselves. Even if you peek at the drawings and other technologies, you just know what they are and don't know why they are designed in this way. However, in any case, new weapons and equipment such as electromagnetic railguns and hypersonic missiles. Although China he was a latecomer, but he did not steal or rob him, but used practical actions to complete the research and development of various weapons and batch equipment service.